even controlling the car. It is driving by itself. <laughs> what the actual... What's going on my friends? It's Jason here. I hope you're all doing well. Now, that has been an incredible time driving around that beast. The ability to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.2 seconds, like, that is just insane. Pulling up next to an Audi R8, which is powerful. It's got a 600 horsepower engine. What is it, a 5.2 liter V10? 5.2 liter V10? Something like that. The engine's huge. It's just crazy and the Tesla can beat it. What? That's crazy. Uh, it's just really hard to get through my head how this thing performs. It's just such an incredible car and it is pure electric. So it is no noise. There's just no noise. I just, it's, I'm just indescribable. You have to get in a Tesla to understand that when you put your foot down, it's instant power to the floor and you can't hear anything. It's crazy. The pickup is just something else. 3.4 seconds, zero to 100. You really can feel the pickup. Like it's, it's incredible. Watch this. I'm gonna have to hold this camera right here. And go. Oh! Oh! That was 100. Straight up. 100 kilometers per hour, just like that. Now this was the Model 3 dual motor performance model and it retails here in Australia for over 100,000 Australian dollars. So it's not something that most people would just go out and straight buy it. Like it's it's pretty hard to afford that, you know, straight off the bat. But all this wouldn't have been possible without Sean and Millen at Tesla Taxi. They hooked me up with this car for a bit to test drive, do some content for them, do some content for myself. And boy, it is really, really hard to give this thing back. But uh, they are an awesome company. Uh, essentially, what Tesla Taxi does is they rent these things out for, I suppose, however long you need it, just like a rental company. And the cool thing is, is if you actually own Tesla yourself, you can actually put your Tesla within their service, make money while you're not actually using your Tesla. Now, that is great if you are a Tesla owner. That I just really think it's a really brilliant idea uh, because it's full electric cars. You know, it's really great for the environment. It's pretty much zero emissions, like, oh my God, it's in insane. Why aren't all cars electric these days? But, you know, uh, it is really cool. And the cool thing is, is that if you own that Tesla, all you need to do is you leave that access card in the frunk. And then uh, when the person hire out, hires out the, uh, the Tesla, they'll register the website, go on the details, get their phone call, blah, 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 all those kind of details. They will get the activation through wherever the car is get that key out of the frunk and the owner of the Tesla would activate it um, and allow that person to start driving it, which is really cool. Um, it's just a really sort of seamless way of doing it. And obviously if someone tries to steal the Tesla, the owner gets notified on their phone and you can pretty much cut the power straight up. So stealing a Tesla is just not possible. Um, I mean, yeah. It's great. It's really great technology. Um, Elon Musk has done an incredible job with this piece of machinery. It's crazy. But all that person has to do anyway when they actually hire the car, get that key card out of the front. They just need to go around, take a quick video of the current condition and bam, they're sweet to go. This is awesome. Um, if you've never been in a Tesla before and once you get into this thing, it's just absolute minimalistic like there's just the interior is just so clean so perfect and all you need to do is go on that i think it's a 15 inch touchscreen or 16 inch touchscreen go straight on there create your own profile for the car this allows you to save your settings for like your mirrors your seats and you know all that kind of jazz if you want to set it up and all the positioning it does make a big difference especially if there's two people driving and you want to try and bring those uh things back 
like mirrors and seat positions. Um, yeah, I frequently my wife borrows my car, and uh, when I get it back, it's like hopping in a car like this, and it's just like to adjust all the mirrors, have to adjust the seats back to where I normally would because I'm six foot freaking four tall. I'm not short, and she is, she's not short, but she's obviously not as tall as me. Uh, it would be great just to press a little button and everything gets adjusted itself. You know, that is a pro of the Tesla. And um, the seats, the seats are just so amazing. They're so comfortable, it's nice leather seats, good bucket seats for me. Um, but speaking of seats, the cool thing about this Tesla, it has the, I think they're called, is it ISO clips when uh, with the baby seats in the back, the little bar that's connected to the chassis. You can clip the baby seats in the back, and then obviously you've got your hook at the top of the seat. Boom! You can put a baby seat in the back. It is fa family friendly. Like it is pretty much a sports car that is also a family car. I mean, you would probably expect that for a hundred thousand dollar car, uh, but you know some hundred thousand dollar sports cars don't have these options to uh, be family friendly. But anyway, let's dive into some of the specs of the Tesla right now. So the Tesla Model 3 comes in a few different models and is fully customizable when you actually order a brand new one. This one in particular is the dual model which has a 147 kilowatt motor at the front and a 211 kilowatt motor at the rear. The dual motor is capable of doing about 325 miles on full charge, which is about 520-ish kilometers. Now this is probably more so in optimal driving conditions. Now the typical Tesla's minimalistic style and design, the Performance Model 3 sports a low profile 20 inch tires and rims, and they stand out. They definitely stand out with those red calipers. Gives it that nice, subtle, sporty look. Yet inside, you have a really nice, sleek, black leather seats that are bucket seats, and they're large 15-inch touchscreen, and that large wood dash that stretches from A pillar to A pillar in all this nice, spacious cabin. So today we have a video shoot with this bad boy down the Gold Coast, and uh, this is going to be with a whole bunch of few creators that I'm gonna be collaborating with, so this will be pretty awesome today. Let's get out there and uh, yeah, I'm pretty keen for this video shoot. No, let's have a look. <laughs> are you gonna do it, Igor? Yeah, this will go on your video. How do you, how do you... So is this car, is it open? It's open, yeah. Or is it? <laughs> yeah, or is it? <laughs> Uh, that's the first thing I'll do is you oh, push that. Oh, you clever yeah. boy. Okay. That was my that's first good. thing. That's Just good. pointing out to the camera that Nikola Tesla was Serbian and I'm Serbian, so ah, maybe that's there why. there you go. <laughs> maybe that's why he channeled from me. Now when filming cars, I always try and find the best details about the car that I actually want to show off. Now the Tesla, I mean, there isn't really too much to show because it is so minimalistic in design, but there were still some important details that I actually wanted to show off, obviously, you know, like the badge, the cameras, the rims, the seats, the trim, um, and all those kind of little details that, you know, I really wanted to show off. But yeah, this has been a really fun time filming this car. So this is the aftermath of yesterday, or last night's shoot. Right here, look at all that dust. That is the aftermath of last night's shoot. We're gonna have to go wash this because when we give it back, it's gonna be exactly how we found it. Perfectly cleaned, perfectly vacuumed. Let's go to the car wash. I am trapped with the boys, not so tough, but nice keep walking, yeah. Just too sharp with the boys, like us. So this is the things you've got to do before you hand the car back. Give it a nice little clean spick and span. It's got to be perfectly clean as you had it before. Well, I gave the car back, sad times. That was super fun. It was super fun having that car for a bit, but now it's back to reality, back to my soccer mum's car, the old trusty Volkswagen Tiguan. But uh, no, this was a really fun video to produce. I just wanted to put together something to show my experience with the Tesla, you know, an average Joe driving a Tesla. It's not exactly a car that I would personally buy realistically. The dual motor performance model is just simply out of my price range, and I know it's going to be out of a lot of people's price range. I simply can't justify spending $100,000 for a car. 
that gets you from A to B. Yes, I drive my car a lot, but $100,000, I mean, I would gladly spend maybe 50,000 Australian dollars, but uh, even then that's, whew, that's the top, that's the top of the range that I would actually want to spend. I'd prefer to spend so much more money on other things, but it has been an incredible experience. So once again, thank you to Tesla Taxi for the hookups with the Tesla. If you do wanna check them out, the link will be in the description below. Other than that guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content. My name's Jason, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, let's get it. Back, please get on your knees. Came from the jungle, up in the trees. I got a few tricks up in the sleeve. One wrong move, I'ma let out the let out the let out the big shoes. Check out the crease. Blow like I'm big foot, step on the beat. Make a man's run till he step out the cleats. When the whole place scream, gotta get out the get out the. Yeah, I, I hear him chat to the noise. Move too quick, can't stop for the talking. I hear him chat with the boys. Not so tough, but man's keep walking. Yeah, just too sharp with the prize. Black girls better tell me I'm awesome. Yeah. Like fire on the pan If you wanna touch my visuals Caution Stop that Stop that